Hi, this is the 13th Wolfman, and this is my Midnight Movie Review. Today I'm going to review for you... Cannibal Camp Out. That's right. This is a 19... This came out in 1988. It's a classic. A lot of people... A lot of people already own this film, but I would like to turn other people on to it. It's put out by Camp Motion Pictures. Um, this was 1988. So let me just give a little backstory here. In the 1980s, when mom and pop video stores started first popping up, when video rental places first stop, first pop, started popping up, um, everybody that had a video camera, just about, started making low budget horror films. And the ones that did a decent job. You know, they didn't just make them, they also tried to mass produce them and put them out. You know, and some rental some rental stores did it. This is one of them. This is a this is a, one of the shot on video horror films from the nineteen eighties, Cannibal Camp Out. I believe Blood Cult is the first shot on video film. Don't have that one to review for you, so we'll review this one. The look of the film you could tell it's shot on video. Um, there are shots that it looks kind of it looks kind of grainy and distant shots are kind of fuzzy because you know they, they've just got the they've got the video camera with the one lens you know and it, it's okay. Uh, I don't know if anyone can do anything to I know you could do stuff to touch up like film film, you know, but I don't know about shot on video. It looks okay. The dialogue, eh, it's, it's okay for what it is. This is just a, a horror film. So, uh, now the title, Cannibal Camp Out. I'm expecting a lot more out of the title Cannibal Camp Out. Um, it has been decades since I watched this. I think I watched it when it first came out on VHS and I don't think I've seen it since then so this was like watching a new film to me again the presentation you know uh, that Cam Motion Pictures did is really nice there are there are quite a few extras um, you get a commentary you get uh, interviews with the cast which which is really cool uh, deleted scenes music video still gallery Camp Trailer Vault and Collectible Color Booklet, which is, you know, there's the front, there's the middle content, and there's the back. And to be honest, this scene here. I mean, it looks good and all, but it's not it's not quite as gory as that. I I just feel that um the title, Cannibal Campout, says, you know, hey, we're gonna have this campouts but be a bunch of cannibalistic crazy stuff going on. And um for the first two thirds of the film, it's slightly sprinkled with cannibalism. Uh about the last 20 25 minutes the gore really ramps up um here's the back this this is probably one of the gorier scenes um it's an okay film i would say if you want to go out and buy it uh i don't know where you there's nowhere to rent this and i don't think they're ever going to show it on cable so it, i i say buy it. i say it's a average shot on video horror film uh i give it two chainsaws easy i mean i had fun watching it you know there it it's the it's the kind of movie where you sit there and you play little games with it like oh look that guy's got a different shirt on now you know are you noticed that they're supposed to be there and and i think it's supposed to be i don't know i, I think it's supposed to be like the the, towards the end of the school year, you know, it's not quite summer yet, you know, like late spring. 
But when you look at the when you look at the footage, do you see all these brown leaves on in on the ground and everything? So you can tell that they're shooting in fall. But they don't really say, so that's my assumption. I mean, because one of the girls says, Do you think the lake is still cold? Or do you think the lake will be cold or something like that? And it makes you think that they're they're there before summer, you know, not after. Uh, overall, like I said, it's a it's a good film. I I recommend it. So I give it two chainsaws. That's easy enough. Um, I am the Thirteenth Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.